vehicle heading out of the fairgrounds. Thanks very much to uh, Brown County Fairgrounds. March Unit 2, Volvo. You know, I do this at the beginning of every video. I just stumble over my words until I get some momentum. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. And uh, it's typically custom for me to tailor the video opening and the greeting depending on the type of video I'm making. So for instance, if it's a military vehicle themed video, it'll be convoy crazies, jerry can junkies, willies, wackos, mutt maniacs, so on and so forth. If it's a welding video, it'll be welding wackos, argon addicts, and I don't know. Sometimes I make them up as I go. Like, <laughs> um, So we got a brainstorm. This is uncharted territory. Got the Woodland Mills mill here. Just came yesterday, FedEx Freight, baby. I gotta figure out a, hey, there's Weldy the Welder in the background there. Um, speaking of welding videos, gonna have a lot of editing to do. It's been a while, folks. So being this is uncharted territory here, uh, I gotta think of a new greeting. Mill monkeys. Fansaw buckos. So hey there, what was it? Let's try this again. So, hey there, bandsaw buckos and mill monkeys. Johnny here, coming at you from a rather blustery central Pennsylvania, United States of America. Where's old glory? There's old glory. And the poor little lonely war horse. <laughs> Taking a back seat because we're going into the winter season. It's firewood and building stuff out of wood season winter here in the northeast so uh unboxing we need to uh get to this unboxing we're doing everything except unboxing here so let's crack on as they say All right, mill monkeys, we got her uncovered. This is our Woodland Mills 26 inch, 14 horse, son of a And we're gonna unbox it today. Show you guys what's in the box. If you have one of these coming, or you're thinking about getting one. Uh, comes on a metal skid, as you can see down here. Um, it's crated up with some uh, bar stock looks like eighth inch by one and a quarter or something like that uh, banded and it's in a box so uh, first thing we got to do is cut these bands so if you're a man or you're an aspiring man you want to be a man someday you need to have yourself a knife on you at all times and it's got to be sharp Okay. Watch my phone have some kind of screw up or something like that. Or there's no audio or something. That's what happened whenever I was, uh, the intro of the video, I was like, well, I'm gonna set this camera up and I'll show, you know, get a nice shot of putting this thing on the skids and the camera fell right over <laughs> oh geez okay so what do we got going on here oh some more bands okay let's get this out of the way and we'll keep on going okay the outer covers off look at all that nice steel I mean you got a lot of bar stock here flat stock and angle iron 
Oh man, I'm gonna make all kinds of stuff with this. That's great, this is really nice. Uh, completely crated up in steel. Let's uh, cut these bands here. Little dent here. They must have put something heavy on top of this. FedEx did, looks like. Because it doesn't look like there's any physical damage to this angle iron, but it is buckled here on the side. Anyways, just a detail. Okay. Now, in the knockdown instructions, it specified taking a couple of metric bolts loose and laying this down this must be these must be the bolts here so this is probably actually the front of the crate and i have it on the skids backwards that's okay so it looks like this top is just going to lift right off dad is going to be very happy to see this steel he's going to go wow look at all that steel you know dad's Okay, unveiling. Well, it looks like we got some stuff in here. Okay. Got some stuff. Let's start taking this out of here. This feels like sounds like hardware in there let's see what's in the little box okay hardware a lot of hardware big washers bearings oh these are the pulleys for the um, mill head Okay. Okay, looks like everything's labeled. Oh, 12 by 90. I was reading this number. Yeah, okay, 8.8, .8, 30 millimeter LGTHD. Big fat D. In a nice plastic bag, we have a properly labeled. This is very nice. I mean, you don't get this from. It even has a QR code on it. That's probably how they can. I wonder why they have that on there. This is how my mind works. I think about these things. Try to figure everything out. Anyways, the hardware is labeled very nice as to what it is. Comes in very nice thick plastic bags. We'll even use a, I'll even use those over again. Put all kinds of stuff in that plastic bag. Here's a. Uh, very nice okay so it's not a free-for-all show in regards to rounding up the hardware just set that right there for now what do we got in this box so it is um the middle of december so this sat for a little while, got a little wet inside. Okay, we got our water tank, lubrication tank, the hosing for that. That looks like the indicator for your uh, depth of cut bands for the water tank. This is all water tank stuff. We won't need that first, that's the heavy duty. Big fat booty. There's a hand crank. Okay. So that box is going to be heavy. We'll leave that there. Oh man, there's all kinds of heavy stuff in here. Okay. <laughs> Shipping weight, a thousand some pounds. Yeah, I think there's some heavy stuff in there. <laughs> Think, buddy. 
Okay. What do we got in here? Ooh, fancy. That's heavy. That is quarter inch. Okay, so this isn't some, I don't want to get canceled. But, well, the welding's not the, it was welded, put it that way. It was welded. But this is quarter inch, uh, some, Heavy duty steel, of course this has to be because this holds the whole four poster together here. Okay, so I don't want to start putting this stuff. I need like, I'm gonna get another couple skids. Actually, that would be a great idea, wouldn't it? Be right back. <sighs> I'm gonna put these back here because as I mentioned, to get the rails out of this box, you're supposed to take the front of this loose somehow, lay it down, and, oh yeah, okay, so we gotta take this bolt out, we gotta take that bolt down there at that end out, and take this banding out of here, lay it down, take this mill head, and lay it down then we can get the uh, rails out of the bottom of the crate so i don't want to put those over here right where we're going to be laying this stuff down so something you're going to want to keep in mind when you're unboxing your woodland mills i know not endorsed sponsored approved or liked by the canadians so It's just me talking. There's some nice cardboard for the firebox. All right, now what's next? Okay, what's this? This is wrapped in some foam. It looks important. That is our, our scales are in there. Our depth of cut scales. We'll leave that in the foam and set that up here where it can't get all screwed up. What else do we have in this box here? Water tank. Look at that. Her Majesty's 126. That's neat. This aluminum welding is a little better than that other welding we saw. Um, I've heard people have problems here with this fluid level. Um, what I might do is put a breather here because what happens is sawdust will get down in here and jack up all your um, workings there. So we'll put a breather there of some sort. What else we got? Another box. This one's very light. Don't cut toward yourself like I do. Holy moly. Whoa, it comes with PPE. Holy. This is quite the surprise. Wow. Well, these are damaged. Which is a bit of a bummer. What brand of gloves are these? We don't know. Missed some stitching here on that, but they'll work. What else we got? Earplugs. And what is this? Oh, the hour meter's in here. Okay. Good stuff. Okay. 
Put that back in there, snug as a bug. I should have something to write on here what's in these boxes. But oh well. Hell, just unpacking this thing's gonna take a couple hours. Okay. Oh, there's the actual gauge for your depth of cut. That's nice. Pretty easy to see. We'll put that um, in here with the PPE. Hose. Got our winch crank and what else? Oh, you unlock it? Okay. Okay. That's nice. Okay. Nylops. Now that's three eighths plate here. This is um, the lifting lugs for the mill head. I recognize that right away. This is two by four structural tubing. Ends aren't open, so we can't. Or is that two by six? No, that's two by four. Oh, there's a cover. Oh, we can see what's, oh yeah. Three sixteenths, two by four by three sixteenths. Okay. But these plates are three eighths. Okay. Heavy duty booty. That's it for that box. Dad's gonna he sees that steel. All right. It's in this box. More of the uh, millhead lifting mechanisms in here. It's all quarter inch, looks like. Probably definitely not going to stay there. Okay. Oh no, those are the rollers. No, those are the bottom rollers for the uh, mill head. And these are what clean the wheels out. Yep. Okay. All that looks, all this looks adjustable, so you can adjust these pieces of cable in the wheels when it's all together okay so this that's what's in this box oh geez we'll just set this right in yarn Now, if you want to get the instructions out first, they are in this welding rod tube here. You can probably get at it right when you open the stupid thing up. There they are, there's the instruction book. That's a serious manual, 3 8 thick. 
Got a sticker. Oh yeah, brother. What is that, a catalog? Uh, we got an instruction manual for the Kohler. It's thicker than the instructions for the mill. Okay. Let's just see what comes in this instruction bag here. I'm going to be very upset if this video isn't very good. Probably not. Everything I shot so far is probably garbage. Okay, so we got the manual for the mill. We got probably product catalog. Yes, it is a product catalog and a quick start list. High octane, low ethanol. I'll probably run no ethanol in mine. Okay, that's, and a sticker. And that's what's in the instruction bag. We'll take that and read that. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Put this back on here. I wonder if it has a, wonder if this millhead has a blade in it. Loose, just sitting in there. handle Got some uprights in there it's time to uh, lay this mill head down see if we can get this cardboard out of here Okay, so what they want you to do is take this bolt loose, which that doesn't have a nylock on it. it, looks like a 14 or 15, and then just bend the strapping down and then lay that mill head down on it. So, that's what we're gonna do. Be right back. See, that's the problem with these head cameras. You don't always know where they're pointed, luckily. I can kind of like close one eye and kind of look up here, see where we're going. What do you think these are looking at them? I think that's a 14. No, it's 13. How about that? It's half inch, get your half inch wrenches out there if you're American. Okay. I apologize for my mouth breathing. I know it's a problem. Okay. Ah, free bolt. <laughs> no, it's not free. I definitely paid for it. Boing, oing, oing, oing. <clears throat> Jeez Louise. Butter fingers. Okay. Surely do hate bending that good steel. Goes against my grain. Just think of all the crates around the country. Oh, better. 
thrown out, scrapped out. That's a darn shame. Okay. My idea is I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna block this up. So it's not like trying to lay down. Let's get some blocking. Okay, we're back. The mill head's about ready to come out. I get just a stupid camera. The way they want you to do this is to bend the side of the crate down, put some cardboard down and lay the thing down on top of it. Uh, originally I thought, well, maybe I can sneak these crates out of the end. The issue with that is the mill head is resting on these crates. So what I decided to do was to work uh, break these three welds down here they're just bubble gummed on take the crate out put some billets of oak down here and we're just gonna lay this out hopefully i had to take this mill head and slide it this way because it was back behind this angle iron here i think i got it about ready to lay over Ring a ding a ding a ding a ding 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 a ling do, and that's that. Proper setup is what you want here. Now we can take the rest of these boxes out. We got our uprights here. This is what is this? Like one and a half by eighth inch. I'm running out of room. Maybe, um... These feel heavier. That's the same. I'm just trying to look under here and see. Remove after. Oh, I remember seeing these. Yeah, that's eighth inch there. Okay. I'm just gonna stand here on camera and pop all that bubble wrap. <laughs> 10 million views. Okay. What do we got in here? That mill head has some weight to it and you want to be careful because the blade is installed in it and they're sharp as the dickens okay we got some bunks and some bed rails in there i would assume if you were to buy a section of track it's going to come in one of these boxes because it looks like everything's in here the feet the bunks the rails everything's in here so Interesting. So we're going to cut this last box open. And that's going to be it for this video. Got some more stuff in there. What do we got? Oh, yes. You got some log stops. Those look like quarter inch, huh? Interesting. And the long ones. The long log stops, okay. What do we got here? Uh, some connector plates. Bunks are, looks like 16 gauge. It's not quite eighth, not quite eighth. 
332 maybe. And they are tall. Is that two and a half by six or something like that? Okay. Oh yes. I really expected there to be more hardware than just that box. Now, I ordered an extra one of these. This is the, um, geez. Huh? Oh, Lord. Where's my garbage box? This is one of those quick log clamps. The way this works is um, this over centers. Okay, you get her into place, you knock this down, and it over centers. I wouldn't be able to make this for these are like over a little over a hundred dollars. I wouldn't be able to make this for a hundred bucks. And I plan on making a longer bed for this one way or another. Either making a trailer of my own for it or making an extra bed extension. So, got an extra one of them. Got our bunks. Bunk dee dunk dee. Jeez, running out of room. box what is in the mystery box oh some t-bolts and some nuts in there they must be for the um, log stops or something Okay. Yeah, I think they go in here. Oy. Ah, these are the bed rail stops to keep your mill head from keeping on rolling down the road. One for each corner. And finally, the bed rails. Or a quarter inch. Looks like what uh, two by four by quarter. Pretty substantial stuff. You can see it. Not exactly perfectly straight, but let's um. So it's not made by Bridgeport, put it that way. It's made by the Canadians, so what do you expect? Okay. Oh, there's some hardware. There's some feet hardware. I'm gonna need this first. Put some feet together. And these aren't quite labeled like the other ones were, but just not complaining, just observing. Just a observation. in there 
uh, this is part of that quick log stop. This bolts to the bed. More hardware. That's the other end of that. Probably can't even see because of the camera. There you are. Holy cow, that one's stuffed full of bolts. And so is that one. Probably track bolts. So we'll be needing them first. I would assume because they were in the track box. Put them right there. And that's it. Three more pieces of angle iron. Let's pull, what I wanted to do was pull one of these up out of here and look down the cross section of it. This one has a little bit of a bow. I'm trying to get the camera right here. Has a bit of a bow, but it's not as bad as the other one. And that's that. That's it. We've unboxed this. Now we just gotta put it together. All right, guys, that's the unboxing of the Woodland Mills, His Majesty's 126. Sorry about the video quality. Production value has never been my real thing. I'm a working man. But I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed filming it, which is to say not very much at all. <laughs> Thanks for watching, though. We'll see you next time. Bye. Yeah, real quick. Uh, this short side is the top side, so looking down through there Looks pretty good. There's a little bit of a bow in the center. You might be able to see that on camera But otherwise looks pretty good. This is the native Corner of this angle iron that they use. This is the cutoff side Just wanted to clear that up Which that nut came off of these cables to raise and lower the mill head that's where the missing nut came from. All right. Other than that, it's all there. See you next time.